First of all, I am Tasi Darang, SP Public Assistant, and beside me is my officer, Subdivision and Police Officer Sijosa Sensun Norbo, and beside my side is ASI Lakhan Sahu from PS Sijosa. Basically, on 7th December 2023, we got a complaint uh, that one boy from class one of Acharya Kulam School Goloso Village, Sijosa, was beaten by his teacher. And accordingly, we gave it in inquiry. And during the inquiry, we found that around 20 children from the same school, class one and three of Acharya Kulam School, was beaten by one teacher named uh, named Sadbi Dev Kriti, alias Rasna Singh, alias Mataji. Uh, she was from Bilesh Hosepur, P.O. Narecha, P.S. Binki, District Fatehpur, Uttar Pradesh. And accordingly, the media uh, video clips were also viral on medias in taking the gravity we registered a case uh, that is on 10th december 2023 in the cesar ps case number was 8 2023 under section 342 oblique 323 ipc red with section 75 jj in, in uh, during that time, uh, the uh, clip of beating was an injury mark was circulated on media and also all Pakistan district student unions. They were pressing hard for early arrest of the accused. So, putting our best effort, we that one uh, through using police tactics and pressure. We called back the accused and yesterday she was arrested and after doing all the formalities, legal procedures, uh, today i.e. that is on 17th December, she has been forwarded to the court and that's all. And yeah, other questions? Uh, sir, uh, uh, was there any political pressure from uh, political pressure and uh, pressure from women and child welfare community of uh, state to arrest her? No, there was no any uh, pressure. In, however, the state human rights commission they have said the status report, and I already submitted it. In uh, definitely on tomorrow, that is working hours Monday, uh, the status report from. SP Pakistan will be reached to their office and there was no any political pressure but the case was very sensitive and uh, the case has been highlighted in very various medias and oh, every section of the society they were really pray for the early arrest of the accused but yes Ornithal Pradesh Police is also capable enough uh, wherever the alleged accused may be and we are sure enough because the accused was already known and so there was no any problem. Sir, earlier when uh, the incident came to lim uh, limelight, yes. I uh, tried to take the interview of the parents yes. of the children who were beaten up, yes. but they told that, uh, that they have compromised the issue and they have withdrawn the uh, affair. Then what uh, uh, forced uh, led uh, uh, you to re-arrest her, sir? Actually, uh, the case was reported on 7th. We have received the complaint. And in the FIR, uh, it was mentioned that only one child was beaten by the uh, this LS teacher. So later on, after conducting inquiry, we have come to know that not only one child, but around 20 ch children were beaten by the LH accused. So, after 
when uh, uh, taking the gravity of the situations, we have registered case, case on 10th, 10th December and conducted, uh, conducted our legal procedures. And through the uh, guidance of our learned DGPs, yes, the case was very sensitive in everywhere the clip of the victim, child and injuries mark were circulated all over so and also through the able guidance of our IG Western Range Rimusar and through my teams uh, very, very capable teams we could able to arrest the accused who has been went to her village that is all at Uttar Pradesh but we could able to arrest her within uh, five, five days and so so that means, that means, sir, uh, the Home Department has taken cognizance of the issue to arrest her? Uh, they have uh, taken the issues and we have already registered a case, so it has already uh, come into police domains and yeah, definitely, that's why uh, PSQ has also got the information. Definitely, they will get information because we have registered case and we have also recovered we found of opens and we have also conducted the, uh, that one medical treatment in MLC. There has been also requisitions, requisites by our IO and everything. There is no any lapses. I was continuously supervised the case from day one and within a short time we will charge the case also. It is also, it is now an open uh, case. Sir, thank you for your media briefing, sir. I, I last of, I lastly, I like to thank, uh, take the name of those officers who have, who have dedicated their service in this particular case. That is my SDPO, Sijosa, Pension Norbo, and the eye of the case, ASI uh, Hopo Rimo, and Lady Inspector Niwamu from Pakistan District, SD Office. Thank you so much. Thank you.